HSL cable. HSL cables in this type of cables for every core there is separate lead is provided and after that a overall uh, lead is provided for this type of cables and this type of cables mainly used up to the 66 kV applications and uh, according to the construction the uh, pressure cables are also there. So pressure cables uh, are uh, categorized into two types oil, oil field or oil pressurized and gas pressurized cables. Okay. We, we will see in the next slide what are these pressure type of cables. Okay. And also the uh, according to the different insulation what are the types of cable we will see in the next slide. Okay. In which first uh, the paper insulated cables are developed in which the uh, paper paper which is used for use of impregnated material which is of uh, low cost and also the uh, high dielectric uh, they are providing high dielectric strength but they are very hygroscopic in nature so that's why they are used for smaller installations like household uh, and LV applications after that paper insulated lead cover cable okay, the PILC cable in PILC cable the core is as picture as shown in picture you can see that the core is surrounded by a uh, separate lead and this lead is used for providing the, uh, the uh, used to prevent the entry of moisture in the cable and uh, this is the uh, mainly used to the come over the disadvantage of the paper insulated cable this, this type of cables are mainly developed in uh, around 1940 or 1950s okay now this type of cables are uh, used for medium voltage applications and these are not uh, widely available in india after that the oil field cables the, in oil field cables uh, oil is used as insulating material in which uh, oil oil is maintained within the cable at a certain pressure and uh, also the uh, also the uh, mineral oil is used in this type of cable this oil oil cooled cables for stand maintaining and also de detection of the oil leakage is also difficult in this type of cables so that's why uh, to overcome this problem the extruded cables are developed uh, such as ethylene propylene rubber, rubber. Uh, in ethylene propyl propylene rubber rubber mainly this type of, of cables are having good mechanical strength they are durable and also they are having high insulation resistance properties ethylene propylene rubber is uh, one type of vulcanized rubber cables and mainly used for LV and MV applications after that PVC cables PVC polyvinyl chloride is having high insulation resistance and also the good dielectric strength but but they are uh, and also they are having the properties for inert for the alkalis and acids so they, they are widely used in cement and chemical factories and also they are used for LV and domestic purpose applications but these are uh, mainly uh, the disadvantage of PVC cables are they are frequently uh, uh, got damaged due to the mechanical pressures. So that's why to overcome this type of cables, uh, the polyethylene, polyethylene cable is mainly used. Okay, in polyethylene cable, these are uh, these cables are having low dielectric losses than the PVC, and also. They are having the good mechanical strength than PVC cables. They are, uh, but they are not flexible as much of that PVC cable. They are hard in nature. Okay, and, but uh, there is only disadvantage of polyethylene is they are highly sensitive to moisture under the high voltage stresses. Okay. After that, the uh, cross-linked polyethylene uh, cables are developed which are used for the higher temperature applications uh, up, to the, uh, up to the degree centigrade. They are better aging characteristics and also the jelly film cables are mainly used for telecommunication applications in which polyethylene is used as insulation and petrol ethyl is used to prevent the entry of moisture in the cable. Okay, the next one, gas insulated cables. In gas insulated or gas filled cables, the pressurized gas like dry nitrogen or SMC is used, uh, used as the insulating material or also as a cooler for the uh, cable. Okay, in which uh, airtight steel pipe is used and we have uh, the pressurized gas is used to uh, 
cable link this picture side uh, they came from the uh, in which uh, manual cable link is used in this type of cable link in the uh, picture you can see that the uh, the proper care of the mending radius is not taken here in this type of uh, installation so in this type of uh, installation if the uh, proper care is not taken then the uh, due to the uh, unwanted bending of the cable the armor of the cable got uh, damages or uh, cracked at the uh, at that uh, bending point so that's why the, the, this was caused the further damage of the cable in the time of the service yeah, after that the third one is external damage due to the road construction uh, infrastructure development the cable, cable might got damaged uh, mechanically next one Next one is the earth sub earth subsidence or land sliding due to the due to this the cable is what uh, undergoes the damage. Next one is due to overloading events or, or overcurrent events. The cable uh, the insulation of the cable is what burns at the weak points, joints, and termination. Here you can see the picture that what termination then is got burnt. Uh, the overloading. Next one. Next one is the sheath, sheath or armor corrosion. In this picture, you can see that the level of corrosion on the armor. This uh, this is caused due to the uh, damage of the outer jacket is got damaged and the moisture is got entered into the cable. And due to that, the armor uh, the armor of cable is got corroded. So uh, this will cause to the breakdown of the. Uh, Inner insulation due to the formation of water thing and electrical thing. So that's why the, this is the one of the major cause of the cable fault in the uh, cable. After that, the lightning strike and over voltage events. Uh, due to the uh, uh, lightning strikes and over voltage events, the higher amount of voltage is uh, uh, induced into the cable, and that's why the uh, insulation of the cables got damaged, and that's why the uh, faults are offered in the cable. After that, increase of moisture due to the uh, uh, weak points or the, at the time at the terminations or joints, the more uh, from weak point the moisture is got entered into the cable, and this type of water causes to the formation of water drain in the insulation, and this water drain are uh, after that results into the formation of uh, electrical drain, and this electrical drain results in the uh, partial discharge is occurred in. Inside the cable insulation, and this small discharges into the cable causes to the uh, weakening of the insulation of the cable. And after that, uh, after that, uh, uh, after a certain period of time, this uh, cable is got uh, breakdown. After that, aging of the cable, the uh, amount of service of the cable, the uh, cable undergoes to the aging, aging the defect, and up. To this, the insulation of the cable due to the application, uh, due to the operating temperature and uh, overloading events, and also the high high amount of current flowing through the cables, so that the insulation of cable is uh, got weakened after a over a uh, service of period. So that's why uh, after a certain period of time, the uh, cable is got damaged. After that, the damage is caused caused due to the termites or rodents. In this picture, you can see that. Uh, one rat is uh, damaging the cable. This type of uh, faults mainly occur in the uh, LV system. So it's the voltage cables. Uh, this type of uh, influence by the termites or rodents may cause the uh, fault in the cable. The next one is poor workmanship during repairing. During repairing, if the proper uh, methods or uh, proper care is not taken, then the then the faults are occurred in the cable. Uh, I will explain in later slide also how the uh, poor workmanship the faults are occurred in the cable. In this picture, you can see that there is a weak point uh, at the joint of the armor, and this uh, weak point in, from this weak point, uh, the entry of moisture is got, uh, got into the cable, and this uh, entry of moisture will uh, cause as I 